Hi. Right, what are we up to today, Jess? Um, I'm going to talk you through the plumbing that I've been doing yesterday and this morning. Next thrilling instalment of building our boat? Yeah. Plumbing. Plumbing. Well, I did film some bits of me doing it, but it was it was so boring. It was like a little monologue of just like, and this goes into this bit and this goes into this bit. So I thought I'd just talk you through it once I've done it. And now I've done it, so now I'm going to talk you through it. So this is our hot water tank. It's a 55 litre fluorifier by SureCal and it is a twin coil so it can be heated by two different inlets. So we'll have one off the engine, one off of our Eberspach uh, diesel heater. And then if you look at the back, you can see there's like a cold feed in, that's just the one on the left. And then if you come down, there's good angle so you can see it all there we go two isolation switches um and then the cold feed at the back keeps continues on and where there's this bit here that's missing this will once i've got the right elbow will come up and along and that will feed into the bottom of the chlorophyll tank here so that will take all the water in um that needs to be heated and then we also have to run, so off of that I've teed off and put a cold feed into the top of the tank so that the hot water in the tank can mix with the cold water here and it will be the temperature that whatever we set this thermostat to be so it just protects it from not coming out so hot. Um, and then the hot water comes off and down here and it comes into this which is an accumulator tank but we're using it as an expansion tank, they're basically the same thing. Um, just called different things where you put them differently into the system. So this is technically an expansion tank. This just takes off like the excess hot water pressure, I think. I don't really know. But um, so that's teed off into the hot water feed out. And then the hot water will come out and around here. And then on this side, we have two isolation valves. So we can just isolate off this section if we need to. And then both the hot and cold run along the back of the boat here. The cold comes off into the washing machine and the hot keeps going and that will go to our kitchen sink. And then on the other side, it will go up to the um, shower and the sink in the shower. And then I fitted, we only have radiators on this side of the boat. So I fitted in the central heating pipes for this bit. And then we'll just connect them up when we have the Ebers backer put in. And they run up the length of the boat. And that's about it. All good. Johnny helped push the pipe inserts in because they were hard work. But this is just forte. I know, I learned a lot about it. So Probably a qualified plumber, who knows? Maybe. We'll see. But but. There's more to show you underneath the bed for like the, just off the water tanks. Yeah, just off the water tank we've plumbed in like the pump and another accumulator tank and... So hopefully you'll see a clip of that <laughs> right yeah. now. Now. Hi. So... We've been at the front of the boat, now we're at the back of the boat. Kind of the wrong way around, but no, this is the bow. Oh, is this the bow? Oh. This is the front of the boat. Okay. As you can see, there's a bow. We were at the back of the boat, and now we're at the front of the boat. I just, yeah. I feel like that's the front, because that's where you get in and out. But I know what you're saying, this is definitely the front. Okay. Agree um, to disagree. No, no, we don't have you, you're right. You got that on camera. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we've just gone through the hot water bits and now this is where all of our like cold water comes from. So all of the beds screwed down apart from this bit and this bit. That's just a cupboard but this is where all of our water tank plumbing is. Um, Quick note to everyone who pointed out that we need ventilation holes. We put are ventilation in. holes in. We'll see if this is enough, hopefully it is. If it's not, let us know. Yeah, our mattress will come up to where this pencil line is. So we're hoping this is enough to like combat the problem because then the sides will be kind of ventilated too. So we'll just see. But yeah, comment if you think we need more. And thank you to everyone who told us we needed them. Um, so we'll put a little grab hole in this so we can always really pick it up. So that slides off and then you have to come in, Johnny. Cable ones 
for once. <laughs> so underneath our bed is a 1,000 litre water tank. Which is that, that big this yellow thing? Big isn't? yellow box here. Um, hence why we don't need a lifty up bed because most of what's under our bed is a water tank. <laughs> and then we just have drawers at the front. Um, so started, if I just go logically through the system. So we start with a feed off of the water tank, which is just in this bit here. And then we put a shut off valve in just to, so that we can always isolate off the water tank if we need to. Um, then that feeds round and comes into a pump guard, which is like a little filter to kind of protect the pump, I think, from getting any like rubbish in it. And then come round and then into our Pro Max series pump by Jabsco. Jabsco. I want to keep on calling it Jabasco, but that's wrong apparently. And then that's tied in with some flexible hoses so that the vibration on off of the pressure um, of the pump doesn't like make the pipes go funny. And then that comes into, we've got a five litre accumulator tank, which should hopefully hold a bit of pressure in the system. So like when you turn on a tap, you don't have to wait for the pump to kick in. Then that comes around and then we've got another isolation valve just so that we can isolate off this area if we ever need to like do any maintenance to the pump or change the accumulator tank. Not that I hope we'll ever need to, but that kind of stuff. And that's really it. And then that runs down and that's all the way, all the way down. You can't see it now because the wardrobe's in. And then out to the back slash front of the boat. Yeah, so it is so hot today, honestly. We're in like the hottest bit of the boat as well because I haven't taken this window out. It is like 1000 degrees. <laughs> but so it's, yeah, that's the plumbing under the bed. I think that's all the hot water or all the water system shown to you. So I hope you yeah. enjoyed. And we just got to plumb in the taps in the showers and the kitchen sink, and then should be good to go. And we've just tested none of it yet. <laughs> just gonna it. hope that it's okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. Cool. Enjoy a bit. Yeah. Bye. Hi, Danny. Hello. It's now cool enough to actually film, I think. It has been north of 20 some degrees, mid 20s. High 20s, I think, inside the boat. It's been inside the boat, wild. It's been quite a bit more than that, yeah. But do you want to talk everyone through what you've done? What are we doing? So far, this is one wall of the shower. This is another wall of the shower that we're building now, where the actual shower fittings are going to come out. So that's what these. It's taken us forever. Unusual shaped holes. To are figure be. it out, because I want. A posh shower fitting. Well, it's just, yeah, it's a bit more complicated than just cutting a hole in the wall and then sticking it all there. But yeah, we're getting there. It's also because it's not your typical wall, so it's not the same depth as like a two by two or however whatever you put in a house. So try and recess everything back enough so that you can screw it on, screw the back. Yeah, plate. we've got like a weird shape wall that's going to happen, but we needed a straight corner, didn't we, to put the shower in. Flat edges everywhere, so this will obviously be hidden. Behind that will be, will be the shower out into a gulper pump. The, what the waste for the shower into a yeah. gulper pump, which is somewhere around here. There, that'll fit in. This ugly hole here is where we lost a twelve mil, uh, twelve volt power line. We we'll have to go get it, fresh it back out. So that way, that is for the gulper pump. There's two holes out there. One will be for the sink, which will be here eventually. So we'll plumb that in as well. Now we're in the process of. Finishing this wall, so then we can mount some tile board, tile board on it all, which we purchased. Cut some more holes out of that. Yeah, we ordered the bath, well, the shower last night, so that should be here by Friday. Mm -hmm. So we can start to push on with. It's all the taking shape. What else bathroom. has happened? Do you want to show? You? Oh yeah, we've also built wardrobe. A wardrobe. It's the back <laughs> it's of wardrobe. Difficult to get it in. So where Johnny stood now. Will be the desk. Will be our like little office work space. from home 
space. There's a lovely fly catcher in there. And then this is the wardrobe. It's difficult to like get it all in. Maybe if I stand up here. Hey, you can kind of see it, yeah. Again, another very difficult shaped thing to try and build. Everything's, because nothing's got straight edge on one side is a real pain. Then not everything's got battens in the right places mm. where you want them. Uh, this is close to where it's finally going to be. These cables are just the aerials too from the 4G. Yeah. A little 5G aerial thing, so that will be our internet. So it's hidden in the wall and then that'll feed through into the... Uh, office area into the office but there'll be a straight out on there somewhere and then a door which we're getting there so we're getting there there's a the tile board oh yeah <laughs> it's all happening just long hot days filled with flies filled with flies <laughs> that love it inside the boat they do well, we are slowly moving onwards and upwards. Hopefully we'll be able to show you a, a finished shower very soon. Yeah, hopefully. We will. We will. <laughs> All right. Catch you in a bit. <laughs> We've cut it so good that you can't get it out. Don't talk everyone through what you're doing. Yeah, getting things off the wall that are very stuffy. <laughs> um, what are we doing? This is tile board. Continuation of the shower. So this will be the waterproof layer that all the tiles will be stuck to rather than wood because we don't want the wood to get wet and go rotten. And yeah, I don't really... Yeah. So we've put 9 mil plywood up. We built a little wall. And then we're sticking nice 6 square. millimetre Jacko board which we just got from the tile shop. It looks like cement and polystyrene. That's literally what it is. Okay. Um, so we've like put this that one's all, all around the shower. This one's got to come off tomorrow. It's just, just tacked up so we know what pieces so we can return some. So yeah, we've make. done it so efficiently we're going to be able to return two boards. So all these are glued up, screwed up, and then to this you can stick all we'll your tiles. Uh, yeah. Stick and then graph our tiles. Yeah. Um, and then that should be one. a super waterproof little shower. But this one, all of this board will come off because we've got to get all the plumbing in. So these dubious looking holes are where the shower's going to go. And my shower controls. So the shower controls are there, but also we need to fit the pump, fit the two out pipes into the skin fittings on the. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> actually, wire in the pump, screw the pump to the wall, etc. And then there'll be a, we'll make a, a little faux wall. Cover. But with a little entrance hatch, so you can always get in there. Yeah, we'll have the bottom half be removable, so we can fit something there, and you'll have we'll have make sure we've got. I don't get a large basin. I know the bathroom feels so much bigger than like what I thought it was gonna be. It's famous less words until everything's in there, but <laughs> I am currently stood where the shower will be. Yeah. The shower doesn't come to the wall; it comes to that little green mark there. So. Eight hundred by eight hundred shower basin should fit in. Nice sink cabinet thing here toilet there we haven't decided what toilet we're having yet have we we don't want to pay for a really expensive one i know they're just so expensive so i've just not bought not one yet committed to it just gonna shoot the bucket probably just gonna throw a bucket <laughs> hopefully not i refuse but you refuse would you not five. would you not live on the bucket anyway <laughs> would you not live on the boat if you didn't have a toilet no it's fairly also, I'd really like a mirror that I can shave in, which is a contentious issue, so... We're not having a mirror. By the sink. Jolly wants some, like, weird little fold-down... No, I want a mirror so I can shave whilst, like... Yeah, and I said you can have, like, a little one that pulls out. And I said that's not good enough. And I just think it's going to be really nice to, like, look out the window while you're brushing your teeth. Yeah, and then you can have a drop-down mirror. Swinging. Mm. Perfect. I just don't know how I feel about that. Well, it's going in, so you'll, you'll find that you'll go, you'll leave one day for work and come back and bam, <laughs> hanging there. Don't worry about it. Okay, should we finish this off and then we're gonna go home? We'll finish this off. It's late on Sunday. We're going home. Yeah. Soon. It's been a nice hot day, but it's finding a good temperature now. It is. It feels like you can get more done right now. Yeah. Cool. Catch you in a bit. Bye.